Steve Mackey, a record producer and bass guitarist for English rock band Pulp, died on March 2 following a three-month-long stay in the hospital. He was 56. Mackey joined Pulp a decade into the band's career in 1989 and is featured on some of its biggest hits, including Common People, Do You Remember the First Time, and Disco 2000. He was also a prolific producer who helped co-write Marianne Faithfull's Sliding Through Life on Charm, Florence Plus The Machine's Kiss With A Fist, and Arcade Fire's Everything Now. Alongside pulp bandmate Jarvis Cocker, Mackey also appeared as a member of fictional wizard rock group The Weird Sisters in the 2005 film Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Ted Donaldson, the former child actor who starred as Cornelius Neely Nolan in Eight Regrows in Brooklyn, and Bud Anderson in the original radio version of Father Knows Best, died March 1 at the age of 89. He made his big screen debut in the 1944 fantasy comedy Once Upon a Time, opposite Cary Grant and Janet Blair, and also headlined all eight of the adventures of Rusty Children's films, centered on a German shepherd dog named Rusty. Other credits included movies Mr. Winkle Goes to War, A Guy, A Gal and a Pal, Personality Kid, The Decision of Christopher Blake, and Phone Call from a Stranger, and shows Front Row Center, Matinee Theater, and The Silent Service. Donaldson also starred in the Broadway productions of Life with Father and Sons and Soldiers. Later in life, Donaldson taught acting classes and worked at a bookstore in Hollywood. Gary Rossington, a guitarist and the last surviving original member of the rock band Leonard Skynerd, died March 5 at the age of 71. Rossington founded My Backyard, the band that would eventually be renamed Leonard Skynerd, with lead singer Ronnie Van Zant and drummer Bob Burns as teenagers growing up in Jackson, Florida in 1964. Guitarists Alan Collins and Larry Johnston were later added to the mix. The history of band is marked by the 1977 plane crash that killed multiple members of Leonard Skynerd, including Van Zant. Rossington survived with severe injuries, but he rejoined the band a decade later when it was reformed by Van Zant's brother. Rossington continued with the band, though he also formed the Rossington Collins Band with Collins and the Rossington Band with wife Dale Krantz Rossington.